I grinded 4 1 2 1 2 white formation per your request, and after a few hours of grind, I found the best way of using it in Elite Division and also in Beachhead League, and got me lots of wins in both. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use it to get more wins in rivals and Beachhead League. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bards here with another tactic video for you. So guys, in today's video, I would love to break down my 4-1-2-1-2 wide formation and custom tactics. And it is an amazing formation. I used it in Elite Division, guys. It took me a few hours to grind it, but I grinded it and this is the best way of using it. And I hope that helps you if you like to use this formation to get more wins in rivals and we can. So in defense, your defensive style needs to be on balance with a width of 31 and depth of 65 which will go over this in players instruction just to know the width needs to be on 31 because you only have one CDM so you want your RM and left mid to be closer to your CDM to be more compacted in defense in offense your build up play needs to be on balance chance creation on direct passing the width can be on 40 it's a wide formation on its own so you don't need to have a very wide width to add attack and players in the box is going to be on five bars corners and three kicks on one bar as we know we are almost done with EAFC 24 and if you are looking into a specific formation just write it down below in the comments and I would read all the comments I'll make sure to follow and break it down for you guys also if you enjoy this content don't forget to like my content leave your comments for me and subscribe my channel to help you to push my videos more and supporting me guys let's go to players instructions guys so your left striker needs to be on a stage central and get him behind so this player is your main striker he needs to be a very good striker in terms of finishing i have both darwin nunez and team of the season harry Kent. they are both great in finishing nunez is more of a dribbler and this is what i'm using him currently as the Finesse shot plus as well. He will go behind the opponent's defenders easily and score tons of goals for you, getting the cutbacks from your left or right mid. And this is how generally this formation plays. So this player must be a good finisher with good physicalities and high attacking position to do those finishing for you easily, guys. Your right striker needs to be only target players, guys. So I use team of the season Paulo Dybala in this position. He is extremely agile and this is what kind of player you need for this formation. A good finisher and agile, maybe a 5 star skill moves to perform dribbles for you. He will get to the back and ask for the ball several times. He will wait for the cutbacks from left and right and go behind the opponent defenders. Also, he will be the second player playmaker next to your camp. You send passes behind the opponent defense for your left or right mid and your strike with having a finesse shot plus as well that would be an asset for this player to get the ball and perform the finesse shot shots because in elite division and higher ranks it's very difficult to break opponents defenders easily so you have to use your opportunities in the best way possible guys your cam needs to be on combat on defense and free roam i used him off the season ball where the, he's not a typical cam guys but what i needed for this position is a player that is great great in passing and finishing in somewhat as well he's good in both of them he's high in attacking work rate and high in defense as well so he would come back and help your cdm in defense because you only have one cdm and this is extremely important that this player participate in both defense and attack he will score for you he will send a lot of assists for you and this is the type of player that you want to use in this position not a typical cam because you can have problem with defending if you're using a typical canvas your left mid needs to be on combat on defense and stay white i used nico williams in this position i packed him last week he is extremely good with his rapid plus so he's going behind the opponent defenders easily with running and with passing with your left back and also getting the ball from your cam and cdm he has the deep pass as well which is extremely recommended in this setup because you can easily cross the ball and easily score with headers or final taps 
and also this player would be great to send the cutbacks and recycling the ball to the center to bring the ball to the middle to score easy goals guys your right mid needs to be on comeback on defense cut inside and get in behind this player needs to have a good speed for sure because you want to use his speed to go behind the opponent defenders i use Javi Simmons. he was a spc and he's extremely agile he has five star skill moves he's great in shooting and this is what you need because this player would cut inside and act as your third striker guys he would score a lot of goals by shooting from behind the opponent box or inside the box by going behind the opponent defense and this player must be an agile five-star skill move in my opinion because he would perform a lot of three balls and recycle the balls and do the cutbacks for you and this is what you need for this setup guys your cdm needs to be on cut passing lanes stay back while attacking and cover center and this player must be a very physical and good in defense player probably a good player in terms of physical and a tall player so you can stop your opponent from conceding counter attacks also be able to defend your opponent when they're attacking guys and then your left and also your right back needs to be on stay back while attacking overlap and a step up i use carlos alberto and also team of the season hovers most of these players are great in defense hovers is great in attacking too so he will join the attack most of them will stop your opponent from counter attacks and also they will be the players that are starting your counter attacks because this formation is really good for fast counter attacks and with getting the ball back and passing it to your midfields or your left and right mid easily you can go beyond your opponent's defenders and make a fast opportunity for yourself before they are shaped in defending and score a lot of easy goals so make sure these players has a good defending stats and one of them is more attacking so by triggering l1 and lb he can go behind your opponent's defenders and help your left mid and bring the ball to the center to score easy goals guys and then your center backs and your goalkeeper can be on balance and this was everything for today's videos guys i hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments for me and i will see you in my next videos peace out